Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at the Fisher Bullet Space Pen. Um, this is a little different than my normal reviews because this is actually a ballpoint pen. I normally do fountain pen reviews if you watch any of my other videos, which I highly recommend. Um, but I figured I'd take a look at this one today. This is actually part of my EDC. I carry this with me everywhere because fountain pens can't be used for quite everything. Um, and before we go over spec size all that stuff I do want to mention um, this pen is made out of brass this is originally matte black but I sanded it down uh, and put a patina and a clear coat on it so if you're wondering why it's kind of like a dark blue brassy color um, that that's just something that I wanted to end up doing with the pen so um, you can't purchase this color <laughs> but you can certainly make it at home and um, if you guys are curious about that, you, you may be able to look it up. Um, if not, feel free to leave a comment or send me a message, and I'll be more than happy to help you out with that. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first up, just some specs. The length closed is going to be 3.75 inches, uh, 9.53 centimeters. Length open is going to be 5.25 inches, 13.34 um, centimeters. And the weight is going to be an ounce or 28 grams. So let me try to uncap it here in frame. So this is already a fairly small pen. Um, but when you uncap it, that's what you got. And you post it, and it becomes usable length. Let's go and do some size comparisons. So while it's closed, we'll go ahead and bring out. Um, a similar portable fountain pen. Um, this is the Caveco, I believe. Skyline Sport in um, Tampa. I mean, mint green. Um, so that's that's a somewhat similar size. Very portable fountain pen. A lot thicker though. Um, just for size reference, if you watched my last video, here's the Levenger. LTEC 3.0, which kind of dwarfs this pen. And uh, I'll go and bring up the Twisby Diamond 580 All, which is a pretty standard middle of the road kind of pen there. So just to compare those two, kind of your standard size fountain pen and the space pen, you can see it's it's much different. However, when posted slightly different story. It becomes a very usable length. Um, you can see it's almost as long as the Twisby, with it uncapped, of course. But this is a very nice pen um, for portability. If you just need something tough and durable that you can have in your pocket, doesn't take up a lot of space, doesn't weigh a lot, this is a very good route to go. So let's go ahead and jump into the stuff I like. First off, it's going to be the size. Um, again, very, very portable. I just tuck this in my pocket right beside my wallet and I never know it's there until I need it. Uh, the weight is good as well, very light, and the overall length is nice. It's just long enough to be used comfortably. And if you really, really have to, you can, you know, do like a one of those sad, broken, overused pencil kind of situations and really bear down on it, and you can get writing done, but I, I highly recommend posting it. <clears throat> But the size and weight are fantastic on this pen. Um, main reason for buying it, actually, because I don't normally use ballpoints, but this has come in handy a lot. I mean, places that fountain pens can't be used due to paper quality or, you know, whatever. Um, next up's the reliability. This thing, I haven't run into any writing issues with it. Um, so that's, that's really nice. I haven't run into any problems with it at all, actually. And it does use a pressurized um, space pen, Fisher cartridge, whatever. Um, this is just the one that came with it. I haven't ran out yet, so I haven't bought another one. Next is going to be the simplicity of it. It's it's a super simple construction for a pen. You have the cap, which adds to the length, and then you have just two parts of the body. You unscrew them right here. really long section of threads there. Let me see if I can get that into focus. Apologize for the shaking. Very long section of threads there. And then you just have your, your refill, 
which is just a, like I said, just a fish refill. And there's a little spring in there, but that's it. Um, very easy to disassemble, maintain, whatever you need to do with the pen. Very simple. It's not something you're gonna have to worry about, um, you know, breaking or whatever. It, it's just, it's nice to have it there. It's a very good backup pen. Um, next up is going to be the durability. Again, this is solid brass, so it can take a patina very well, which is what I did here. But it also is, it isn't going to bend or break on you. Um, you don't have to worry about it cracking like plastic would. So if you're just using a standard ballpoint carrying around with you, um, this might be a good upgrade for you. It does cost a lot more than a normal ballpoint pen, but, you know, the, the durability in the body is really what you're paying for, and the portability, of course. Last thing is going to be the aesthetics. Um, very slim, minimalist looking pen, which I like a lot. And after I put that patina on it, it it just looks fantastic. Um, I'm actually going to turn on the flash here so you can see it a little bit better. Get into focus. Apologize for all the shaking, guys. So you can see it's a very... kind of odd looking pen um, now that I've put the patina on it. It has a nice mixture of like this dark blue color and um, the brass where I just sanded it down a little bit. It looks really cool. I like it a lot. Um, and you can also do this with um, Pilot Metropolitans except for the plastic band in the middle which I harped on pretty bad. Um, you can do something very similar to this, and people will do all kind of crazy stuff with the colors. You can, you can repaint it if you want to, but a lot of people put a patina on it. So I figured why not do the same thing with this pen. Okay, on to the neutral because everything can't always be good. So the stuff I'm kind of neutral towards. Um, I don't like it, dislike it, but the price. Um, I picked this up at my local office supply store <laughs> for. 16 18 dollars something like that which is a lot for a ballpoint but i was bored and um that's what happens when you go into pen stores and you have a problem so the price is a little bit high on this um you can get this off amazon i imagine quite a bit cheaper they come up on mass drop fairly consistently um for like you can get like a two pack for 30 dollars or whatever but they're probably gonna run you in between 10 and 20 bucks and it's it's okay. I I just have a little bit of a problem with that, and that's the fact that this is not a fountain pen, and I don't like paying that much for ballpoints because I just don't use them that much, except for this one. So this is an exception to the rule a little bit. Um, I just think they could have cut down the price a little bit, but that's just me. And the refills are proprietary, and that's another thing on the neutral list. It's just it's not great. Of course, it's too small to use like your G2 rollerball refill, which would be fantastic. That's a really good um, refill. But, you know, it writes fairly well, which we'll get to in a bit as well. But it's just proprietary. So, and onto the dislike list. There's actually nothing that I dislike about this pen. Um, it served me very, very well. It's very durable. Um, if you can overlook the price and the proprietary refills, and you're looking for something in this market, this is a no-brainer. I, I highly recommend this. They have in a ton of different finishes with texturized patterns. They have it in silver, matte black, shiny black, like a burnt titanium looking color. It's not burnt titanium, but um, I think they have a bunch of anodized finishes as well or painted, whatever they end up doing with it. But there's, there's a lot of variety. You're bound to find one that you like the color of as long as you like the rest of the look of the pen. Okay, we're going to keep this short and sweet. Go ahead and jump into a writing sample here. Um, again, this is just the refill that came with it. I believe it's a medium or whatever it is. But it's going to be that kind of shiny black, not quite black color that a lot of ballpoints have. Because ballpoint ink isn't liquid ink, so um, it writes fairly consistent, consistently. Goodness, you can see there's some light spots like right here, um, but it writes pretty well. If you need to sign a receipt or something, which is the main thing I use this for, or 
writing on a, a quick note or whatever, and you don't have another pen with you, this is great. So I don't always carry a fountain pen, believe it or not. Um, I carry them to work and almost everywhere I go, but if I'm just running to the store or something, I'll just bring this along just in case. And it comes in handy quite a bit more than you'd think it would. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, keep an eye out for my next video. And if you're in the market for one of these, pick one up. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.